Hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League uh, Season 3, Week 2. This is the 8th game, last game of Week 2. The, the weeks are seem to really be flying for this. Um, this is this last game of the second week of Seafoam Isles Draft League Season 3, Week number 2. Uh, this match is between Sir Roland, Coach of Fish, and Comkin coach of convert the conversion Porygon Z's. The Mega Pokemon in this matchup and Z Pokemon in this matchup are Mega Manectric um, for the Mega on Roland side, and the Z's are Z Any Bisharp and Z Attack Shedinja. For Comkin, the Mega Pokemon is Mega Mawile. The Z Pokemon are Z Attack Hitmonlee. And Z any Rotom Heat. The Z any Pokemon are making an appearance today. So, in terms of first impressions, what I see is a Kieran Black and a Bisharp. Um, and I think, okay, so to go, we'll start on Roland's side. Bisharp, outside of Rotom is not really threatened by a lot of this team. I do suppose that Weavile could just um, low kick and kill Bisharp, though. Bisharp pretty much, if the prediction is right, can probably just kill everything on the team. Uh, though that might be a little slow and tedious, but that will also be expedited by the five other members on the team. And as for Mega Mawile, Mega Mawile is just a threat and a half. It can probably one-hit KO without boosts on most things here, save for maybe Mesprit. Um, but with coverage, it can hit one-hit KO pretty much everything else. I guess Manectric could maybe live, but even then, I'm doubtful it will live a huge power. Uh, play Rough, which is unresisted by Roland, so that Play Rough will probably just pick up a KO every single time Mega Mawile is on the field. And then obviously Kieran Black has incredibly variable potential usage, which is really scary. Um, and it can really just rip teams apart. Reggie Steel's there is like a, a break, like an anti, anti, um, anti sweep mechanism. Should things ever get out of hand, it could probably stomach a Bisharp hit pretty easily if things get into a pinch. And Rotom obviously can burn it, but it might want to stay intact because it's absorbing pressure from three Pokemon, namely Whimsicott, Bisharp, and Manectric. So, yeah, Weavile's here too. It has great coverage, obviously a threat. And then Fish. Fish never seems like a threat until something happens and it does something so we'll see how this game goes leads are probably in my well i expect rotom and manectric hmm. whims not a not an unsur not a surprising lead at all really and weavile ah oh, that doesn't have pivot or rock so that's something but i guess as an anti-lead it's pretty darn good taunt Obviously not going to, well not obviously, apparently, but it's not going to do anything to Weavile thanks to the prankster immunity of it being dark. Triple Axle is going to easily take Whimsicott out of play. I wonder what would have happened if maybe Triple Axle would have missed and Moonblast would have killed Weavile right there. <laughs> so in comes Grap Locked hard onto Weavile. There is a really hard switch into Mawile. Or out, wait, did I say Mawile? I, I meant Weavile. Comkin's tripping me up, bro. Uh, so, sub goes up on the switch. Will we see Octolock? Ironhead's gonna easily fold the sub that Oc, or Oc, 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 uh, Grap Locked sets. Hmm. Ironhead does 51% despite the defense boost. This is why Graplock probably does not really tend to get much usage. What item is this guy? It has not been revealed. Oh my gosh. Well, Graplock goes down without a second thought. Uh, 
and it's disappeared from the field of play. Manectra comes in. It is 6-4 at the current moment, but this could very well just get Roland's momentum on a, a roll. Volt Switch here could be pretty good considering there's no actual effectual immunity here. But we see a hard overheat into a crit. Only does 31%, which is actually somewhat disappointing to be completely honest. And Volt Switch only does 9. So I think this is just the typical AV um, Slow King. In comes Cut Grass, the Sharp on Future Sight. Obviously, Slow King will not stick around to receive this n incoming knockoff, but Reggie Steel certainly will. Body press is a, an imminent threat. Knockoff does a surprising amount, really. Reggie Steel is kind of quaking, I would say. Low kick does 57%, really good bring. Not quite going to finish it off. Will body press take out the sharp? Earthquake, not quite going to get the job done. Future Sight, obviously not going to do anything to the Dark on the team, Bisharp. So Bisharp's probably just going to go for another low kick, maybe a knockoff here. Goes for an Iron Head, really good call out there. There is no opportunity for Mawile to sub, and Sucker Punch will certainly kill from this low range, but uh, Sucker Punch is not used. Maybe Bisharp was slower, I'm not sure. Nothing I can say for certain there, though I do think that Roland probably just neglected to click it. In comes Mr. Fish on the and gets that flip turn off on Mawile. I think that despite all the work Bisharp did to cut down this team, Kieran Black is still looking really, really problematic. So unless Mesprit can really pull up big here, there's not a whole lot that... Or there, there is something Roland can do, but Kieran Black obviously looks incredibly terrifying. Pursuit does no percent really. Uh, 33 rocks go up. I think we're going to see a knock come out this turn. Pursuit won't quite kill anymore. Well, it might if it's a roll, but uh, U-turn is also a potential move that Mesprit can shoot for. Yep, does. Wow. Weavile is frail. I didn't think it was 60% from Mesprit U-turn frail. In comes Minectric. Probably just going to see a hard volt switch here. There's no reason for it to really stick around. Because, uh, again, Rotom is here. So, and Slow King, who's likely AV. Thunder Wave is going to pair a Slow King pretty hard. And I think we might see Basculin. No, volt switch does nine, or 16%. Into Mesprit, probably on a future site now. Mesprit not being able to recover is kind of annoying for Roland, though. We could see a U-turn for free pressure, though. Slow King being slow probably is not really gonna care. Knockoff. What is this Mesprit set? This is like max attack Mesprit. This is doing way too much. Sludge Wave does. However, yeah, and Sludge Wave does thirty percent. This Mesprit is very, an, an unusual but good Mesprit. In comes Registeel, obviously going to fold to just about any attack that Mesprit throws. Yep, Knockoff's going to finish off Registeel. I think we're going to see uh, Weavile just come in and knock off because it has that Libertine now. And it, it could also pursue to just ensure the death. Nope, in comes Kiram, not Boots. But with rocks up, so 76% Kiram. Sub goes up. I don't think Mesprit's going to break the sub, despite the impressive numbers it's been able to throw out here. Yep. Knockoff's not going to break the sub, and I think Kiram's pretty much free to kill. This turn, at least. Freeze dry. 31%. <laughs> not going to quite kill Mesprit. Mesprit's a little too bulky for that. U-turn's going to finish off the sub. Really good play by Roland. The only question is, what's going to do anything to Kira? <laughs> so, uh, lefties are going to flare up. 
so you can volt switch only 19 percent i think mr fish could come in here maybe liquidate break the sub and make an opportunity earth power and going to finish off mesprit probably an opportune time for maybe a discharge to a shoot for a para i'm i'm confident from this position that there is a shot for Basculin to clean if Kiram can be put into proper range. Overheat, 46%, not quite gonna pick up the kill. Roost, okay, that's not good. And overheat, missing that kill was not quite opportune, obviously. Thunder Wave is going to parry Kiram, but I don't know if Kiram necessarily cares at this point anymore. It is in a really, really good spot to just spam Earth Power with Impunity. Actually, Freeze Drive seems usable as well, considering it's just like, yeah, it's purely special. So, these, these Intimidate Drops are not doing any type of thing for Roland right now. In comes Basculin, probably going to explode. Because <laughs> this is Kiram we're talking about. Sub goes up. 25% drop. If flip turn could break the sub and a full para goes off, overheat can finish off Kiram. But it needs to... Oh, well. I mean, Aquatail broke the sub. But... Our f Mr. Fish also broke. So... That's tough. And in comes Manectric. Probably just going to go for that last ditch overheat. Maybe just a Volt Switch. Though overheat is in range to finish off Kiram. It will not be able to clean up a Rotom. Which is problematic, obviously. Volt Switch is not going to kill from here. Probably because, you know, what's that chance with that, without the drops? But now, now Kiram just has to get lucky once or twice, really. Volt switch. And is it going to be able to fire off an earth power this time? No, it's going to sub up. Volt switch. Volt switch. <laughs> Nothing's happening. And earth power not going to quite finish the job. Maybe just a little bit of roost stalling going on. And Manectric finally gives in. And faints. And that's it. 4-0 victory for the conversion Porygon Zs. Pretty good game. I think if the uh, Drap Locked and Whimsicott had not been like immediately murdered, this game could have been a lot closer, especially considering that Whimsicott is definitely one of the better answers to this Kieran Black just sitting around all day um, on like half the team. Both, the, All three of the checks really just died before Kieran Black hit the field. So that's a really effective play by Comkin. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about this week. Good luck. Coaches, week three is coming up. Transactions are at the end of this week. So that will be interesting. See you then.